to another episode of Practical with Selena. Today, we're going to go to 2011 GCEO level practical. So are you ready? Let's start with the two-step preparation and execution. So let's start preparing. First of all, let's remove the clutter. All right, the clutter is removed. Step one, they say that you're provided with a sample of sort Q, which is over here, solid sort Q. Carry out the following experiment and test any gas involved. Record your observation. The volumes given below, unless referring to drops of solution, are approximate and should be estimated rather than measured. Part A says that use a spatula to transfer approximately one third of solid Q into a hot glass test tube. Heat the sample gently for 30 seconds and then very strongly until no further changes are seen. Test any guesses evolved. Use a red and blue litmus paper together with other tests you think are appropriate. So first of all, let me put the test tube in front and let's start doing the marking. Test tube. This is a hard glass test tube. Let me label it as A. Transfer one third of this of solid Q over here using a spatula. Now, whenever we are heating solid alone, make sure that you're a little bit more generous with the amount of solid that you use. They say about one third, so let me approximate this and put it over here. And then heat this sample strongly for 30 seconds and, and then test any gases involved. So, I have the limits paper here. Later on, I can test together with the distilled water. And then it goes on to say that transfer the remainder of solid Q into a large test tube label solution Q. So this is, I have some more of it over here. I'm going to label it as solution Q. Transfer the rest of it into this large test tube. And I'm supposed to fill this test tube with deionized water, which is over here. Distilled water. Half test tube fill. Stopper it and make it into a solution until all the solid has dissolved. So let me put it here. I'm almost prepared for this one here. So part B says place 3 cm cube. Let me use the marker, part B. 3 cm cube, this is 2. Estimate 3 is about here. 3 cm cube of Q, solution Q. Into a clean test tube, this is, let me put this here. And to this solution, add 3 or 4 pieces of magnesium ribbon. So, I have 3 and 4 pieces of magnesium ribbon here. All right. And gently warm the mixture. Leave this test tube to stand in the test tube rack for a few minutes while you're waiting. Continue with part C. So let me move on to part C. Part C here says place about 2 cm cube. Of solution Q into a clean test tube and to this solution add another 2 cm cube of NaOH so 2 cm cube 2 cm cube I have marked already and they want NaOH so let me place NaOH which is here right in front of me whenever sodium hydroxide is added refer to QA notes over here sodium hydroxide cat ion test. Gently warm the mixture. When you warm the mixture, the only one that requires you to warm is ammonia. This is the test for ammonium. Ammonia gas will be evolved. Ammonia gas will turn damp litmus paper blue. So I need to prepare red litmus paper. Then the red litmus paper and we place it over here. To another 2 cm cube of solution Q in a test tube. To this solution, add 1 cm cube of dilute hydrochloric acid followed by 1 cm cube of barium chloride. Also refer to QA notes over at this portion. 
they use barium nitrate. Sometimes we use barium nitrate, sometimes we use barium chloride, but the observation is to test for the sulfate. Part D says that place about 2 cm cube of Q. into a clean test tube and to this solution add another 1 cm cube of dilute hydrochloric acid followed by another 1 cm cube of barium chloride so let me put this here I need to add dilute hydrochloric acid and barium chloride which is here So everything is set up and let's move on. They say consider the result of the experiment. Name the three ions that are present in salt Q. Give evidence to support each of your choices. So that's it. We have finished preparation.